tenths and um, not competed better in the second half. And the second half showed us what we've got to start to learn about games. Right? We're too much of a one-half team right now. And uh, it, it, that inconsistency is killing us. And, it, and, it, and, it, and it's in our practices. It's in our practices. We have a practice Thursday night that's tremendous. Um, we shifted everything back a little bit after my situation with my mom, and we, we came back at night. And uh, we turned back around yesterday, and it's not even close to that level. We, until we get to um, any type of competitive consistency, we're going to have these type of situations. And, it, and, it, and it's, it's, uh, it's not discouraging, but it's disappointing because we're better than that. And uh, uh, the second half, we were playing with uh, not only great energy, but the freedom that we were trying to play with in the first half, which we made it harder than it had to be. We tried to attack their pressure and not practicing and, and or not carrying out what we tried to practice with to get the ball advanced the way we wanted to do it midcourt, not have it sit at midcourt, get it to the corners, get it driven out, to cut off the slots and wings because of the way people load up the elbows defensively on us so much right now, daring us to shoot it because they know we don't have a downhill driving team. We don't have guys that can just go get baskets. Um, there's a lot of guys in this league that can go do that. We're not that team. So we have to keep manufacturing ways to get, get our movement, get our shots, and, it's, and, and it can't just be ball screen, even though we got more of those. But first half, there's too much, we're, we're just not attacking. Second half, we're attacking and we take the lead. And uh, we look like two different teams. It's gotta look like that the same too. It's my responsibility. We gotta keep finding a way to get more consistent play, uh, whether it's Vanderbilt game, we, we, we hang in there in the first half, boom, we break it open in the second half. Kentucky game, we're right there in the first half, we don't come out, and, and, and it's not that we're trying to break away, we don't keep attacking. There's just not a level of competitive consistency, like I said at the beginning, but Florida is a really good team. I think both teams played really desperate in the first or second half, they played a little more desperate in the first half than us. Their pressure, there was, we had no intent of having their pressure get us back on our heels, but it did because there's, there's two ways to attack the press. You either attack it and you try to score or you break it. And, and in my estimation, they'd much rather have you break it all right, than be dealing with a shortage of time on the shot clock and then that plays right into their hands. We had no intention of doing that. And, and, um, and it always helps when you, make, when, you, uh, when you get stops so that they can't get into their press. But the first half, um, we let that get us back on our heels. And, um, Again, that's because we just don't have enough attack downhill guys that can just break through that type of pressure. So we got to keep manufacturing ways to do it. But um, I loved our crowd. It was as loud as it's been, especially when Mike had to call timeout and then when we took the lead, the crowd was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. We had a ton of recruits here today, just an example of what this place can become for us. So um, I'm, I'm uh, angry about it because I think these guys are better than that. Um, I want them to get a little angrier about it, and I want them to see that they're better than that. And we've got to start learning that you, it, it's it's hard. I don't know if we're going to play a 40-minute game anytime soon, but we got to be playing more than 20 and 25, and we've got to learn how to do that. And I'm going to go back to what I said at the beginning and try to take some brights out out of this. We could have folded it up at the start of that second half, and we didn't. And um, hopefully they learned something. I'm just getting tired of learning these lessons of, of these guys under them learning lessons that they're better than than what they think and better than what they play. And if we stay true to a game plan, if we stay true to the movement, if we if we become more and more physical uh, on the glass, if we stay true to what we need to do defending the ball, if we could ever get tougher on the ball, Mike, you got me on the count here because I know I'm going way too long. Right? If we could ever get tougher on the ball, uh, we do that much better. I know you got questions, so. Coach, obviously our condolences uh, for everything. Uh, first Thank of all, you. how is your family doing? And, uh, you know, how challenging of a week was it all around? Yeah, I'm not, it, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, if you can imagine. And I hope, if you've never had to go through it, I hope you don't. Um, um, it, it just, it, it, it's, it, there's, there's no way to put it in until Doing our best and try to do the best for my family and, and uh, keep myself as uh, locked in and, and uh, as it could possibly be and go from there.
like you said, a whole new team came out of the locker room after the half. Was there somebody on the team who said something? Was there something that you said to get them back in the right mindset? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't negative. You know, we, 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 we needed to reaffirm what we wanted to do against the pressure, and we needed to move some people. The, the way we were attacking in practice with some guys was not the way we were attacking in the game. <laughs> and so we needed to move some people around adjustment-wise that way. Um, but really, we just tried to simplify. I mean, pass and cut, right? I mean, it's you're in the slot. You don't have the ball cut. If the ball's coming at you, cut. If you make the pass to the corner, cut, right? And, and just keep the game moving and, and, and have the ball find energy, not sit there and wait for the ball. And we did a much better job of that. And we were much more aggressive defensively on the ball. But our deflections... Um, I'm, I, I should just quit keeping it. I've never, I've never coached a team that gets fewer deflections, gets, gets less hands on the ball. And, and uh, when we did, we had some, we had some good ones in the start of that second half. We got to be more active. And um, um, some of the things we can't control right now, maybe we can't control that we can't get downhill without a ball screen. Maybe we don't have guys that can just go get a shot like a Kevon Allen can, and guys like that. Maybe we don't have that. But we can control how tough we are on that ball. We can control how aggressive we are on that ball. We can control if we get our hands up on the basketball. And we can control better and better if we're taking that first dribble with a bigger step. And, and that's some of the stuff that hurts. And when we made our run and when we, um, we kept doing a lot of the same things, but then we tried to have a few home run plays and instead of keeping it as simple as it needed to be. Because what was working um, in the second half could have continued to work. We just make the simple play, just hit the open man. And really, at the end of the day, the more complicated basketball gets, the simpler it needs to be. Hit the open man, cut and move without the ball. The shot goes up on the board, go get it. Right? And, and that's really what it comes down to.